Sometimes the hardest part of a trip is getting started, at least for some of us. After leaving most of our family behind, we embarked on a 10-day trip to the Central European country of Croatia. We traveled at the request of the ministry ITEM, International Theological Education Ministries, a ministry that sends pastors and professors to the students to minimize cost and to maximize learning opportunities in their own context near their families and ministries. Croatia's history is special. During the 4th century, the Christian persecuting Roman Emperor Diocletian built a palace in the coastal city of Split. But just a few years after his abdication, Constantine began Christianizing Europe. Diocletian's palace to Jupiter became a Christian baptismal. In the 10th century, Gregory of Nin began the unheard of practice of preaching the gospel in the native language of the people rather than in Latin. During the 16th century Protestant Reformation, many Croatian people embraced the Reformed faith. The oldest surviving Protestant church in Croatia began around the year John Calvin died. But the Counter-Reformation almost entirely eradicated the Reformed faith. Today, Croatia is predominantly Roman Catholic. Less than one half of one percent of the populace identifies as Protestant. Less than a quarter of the population attends religious services regularly. In the ancient fortress section of the city of Osijek, I taught a course on eschatology, or the doctrine of the last things. The work of the Mihail Starin Theological Seminary and the churches that are pastored and planted by its graduates is important in maintaining a reformed and gospel witness in a region where it is sorely needed. This course was meant to equip and encourage believers to flourish in these last days by highlighting the complementary notes of hope and urgency. Croatia is a beautiful country, but set within this beauty, believers wrestle against the ravages of sin in our bodies, in the cultures of this earth, and on the entire cosmos. But we do so with confidence that Christ rules over all things and that he's presently working to make all things new. Eschatology helps Christians live well in this world as we fervently anticipate the swelling inbreaking of God's kingdom and the coming gift of the new heavens and earth. This message infuses our work with meaning, offers hope in the midst of suffering, invigorates missions and evangelism, and grounds us in the life of Jesus. I think the courses were appreciated even if the setting wasn't always conducive to learning. The Lord's Day following the lectures, I preached at the Protestant Reformed Christian Church in Tordinsi on the beauty of Christ's thirst for us. Surely the death of Christ and his promise to return is good news for Croatian people who struggle with high unemployment rates, around 30% among young people, low salaries, the current annual average is around 10,000 US dollars, a recent record high for the country, and a shrinking population, currently 4.2 million. The country still bears the scars of a mid-1990s civil war. But the gospel is also good news for those who enjoy the best of this life. Now is the time for us to invest in the age to come. Thanks for making item part of your kingdom investment.